we are comparing two Glock 19X Airsoft Pistols. One is a half blowback and the other one is a blowback. This is them right here. So I this- I can tell which one's the half. You can tell which one's a half blowback. Yes, and then this one's our blowback. The purpose of this video is not to show you which one is better. It's just to show you the difference between the two options that are out there. So guys, you can see that this one is the half blowback and it does slide back. The catch does work. And this is the full blowback. Drop the magazine out. Yeah. Pull the slide back. That. And you can see the difference be, by how far the slide actually goes back on each one. I can't really see that. Hold on. Oh, so yeah. You can I see really... the, the full blowback, the slide goes all the way back, half they blowback. They look like each other, but and I can see which one's the half. I was actually looking uh, closer. And I noticed a few other differences that I want to show you really quick. Can I show them something? For one, magazines. magazines yeah, go ahead. Magazines are different. Magazines are different. This one's the full. Before right here shows you the other one. This magazine holds 23 rounds versus this other magazine. This one holds 14 rounds. This one holds 23 rounds. Uh, this is CO2 powered and this is green gas. The half blowback model was $100 and then the full blowback model was $180. Let me just show you side by side. This is half blowback. This is full blowback. They both say officially licensed Glock products. Underneath you still have your tactical rail. Now on the half blowback model, your safety is actually located underneath this Ooh. part right here. So, which is, I don't think it's a good spot for a safety because if you have an attachment on it, there's no way you can take it off the of safety if you have a flashlight covering that. So you're either gonna have it one way or the other. So that's pretty bad. I don't like it. I wouldn't say it's bad, but I don't like it. So another thing I wanna show you is on the half blowback model, it's got the Glock logo right here. On the full blowback model, it's also got the Glock logo, but it also says the model number. Another difference right here. On the $180 one, every one of these sites have Glock logos on them. So that's got the Glock logo right there, and you can see it didn't have it on these. The front one doesn't have nothing right there, but on the expensive ones, it's got the Glock logo right there. Even looking from the back, you can tell they look different. Half blowback model right here, full blowback model right here. The Glock 19X half blowback is only a single stack, 14 round magazine, where the Glock 19X the full blowback is a double stack, 23 round magazine. What are you doing? I'm just doing this. Oh, okay. Okay, now that we got both magazines filled up with their fuel and BBs, let's get them put in the pistols and see how each one of them fires. We are gonna see if there's a difference in the way they feel when we shoot them. All right, which one are you shooting first? Half blowback? Yeah. Oh. Okay. It definitely sounds different. So here goes the other one. Same thing that you were shooting at. Rack that first one back and go. Go ahead, what do you think the difference is? This one's racking back faster. <clears throat> so, because I, do you see this rack back? Because and I saw this one rack back. This one's racking back slower. Oh, okay. And see, the difference is what you're seeing is the half blowback's only going halfway back. So it's moving a lot faster. So since this one's got to come all the way back, like because it's a full blowback, you're seeing, that, you're actually seeing that come all the way back. But the one thing I noticed was the half blowback model had a longer trigger pull. The full blowback model, it was ready to go. I didn't have to apply too much pressure before it was ready to fire. The next thing I wanna test is how strong these things are. So I'm actually gonna let Riker see if he can hit me. Okay. <laughs> are you ready for that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually gonna see if Riker can hit me. He's gonna go all the way across the fence like he did last time. And then he's gonna try to, you say no, why? Cause it's hard to hit me? Yeah. So I'm gonna let Riker hit me and see if we can see if they feel any different. All right, take the half blowback first. It's on fire, so be careful with it. So guys, I might be crazy for doing this, but I gotta know. I mean, they both say 300 FPS, but is one actually hitting harder than the other one? Are you ready? Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Whenever you're ready, one at a time. Oh, that one hit. Oh, he hit me in the first try, okay. All right, come over here. It definitely had a stink to it. Put that one up real quick. I'm gonna okay. take the other one. Be careful with that one. It's already been racked back. This is the one that kind of makes me a little nervous because I don't know 
if green gas actually makes things propel a little harder. But either way, let's just see. Are you ready? Okay, hold on. All right. Oh, he hit me again. <laughs> first try. Dude, make sure it's pointed down. He hit me twice on the first try. Each one feels about the same. The next thing I want to check is accuracy. Now, we have not adjusted any of these things out of the box. We've left them alone. This is the way they came, stocked uh, from the store. And let's see if any one is actually a little bit better than the other one. Let me set you up a target. I want you to get on the wood, the edge of the wood on the deck, right? All right, now I'm gonna pick up the package and we'll see if we can shoot this. That's how far Riker is. You get three shots. See how many shots you can try to hit it with three. And do good. Try to aim really good, okay? No, just above it. Just above it. Just below it. All right, give that one a shot. And this was the half blowback model. Okay. One. Oh, you hit it that time. You get one more shot. You hit it twice. So I think the trigger pull actually has a huge impact on the accuracy. So the full blowback model, Riker was able to hit it two times out of three. The half blowback model had a longer trigger pull and Riker wasn't even to hit the package at all. The magazines are different, so they will not interchange. I can't take the magazine for the half blowback and put it in the magazine for the blowback because it stops. It doesn't go all the way in. Because it's too big. That's as far as it goes. Because it's too big. Yeah. And same for this one. I can't take the full blowback magazine. Too chunky. And it's too chunky. Guys, Riker's mom's in the living room. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can shoot that, Hold on. That, that metal thing right up there. See if I can't freak her out while she's in the living room. Yeah, so I should go in let's see. <laughs> let's see what we're doing. Hold on. Uh, are you going in? Okay, Riker went in to see if he can hear it. Got it. Got it again. Got it again. Hopefully he's coming back out. I don't know. I don't know where he's at. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. Did you hear it? Yeah? What's she doing? Sleeping? No. Uh oh. He said, probably y'all just shooting it. And I said, nah, probably just a bird or something. Oh. All right, guys, let me show you something real fast. This is the half blowback right here. And the trigger pull, I can go all, see, I can go all the way back this far and then begin to pull the trigger. Just like that. Where the full blowback, I can't do that. As soon as I start to come right here, boom. So it's got a really, really short trigger pull that makes this one so much more accurate than that one. I'm a fan of having the nicest stuff and I'm sure everybody is. Out of the two, this is probably the nicest one, but I don't see a problem with the $100 half blowback model. Yeah. I do not see a problem with it. <laughs> like not at all, dude. So guys, after shooting this for about 10 minutes, the half blowback shot about 10 mags total. After about eight magazines, I really noticed the performance was going down fast. And uh, the full blowback model shot about two and a half magazines. The full blowback model holds about twice as many BBs. We were able to shoot what, roughly about how many? 60 rounds out of the full blowback model? Yeah. Where we probably shot about 100 rounds or close to 120 rounds uh, out of the half blowback. Either one of these are a great pick. If you only got $100, pick up the half blowback. It's a really, really good pistol. Now, if you're on the field, you probably want more ammo in your magazine. That's all we have for today, guys. We hope you like this comparison video and we'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye.